what's up, bro? We on back at this old dusty ass location with all these haters over here, nigga. They can't do they can't do nothing for themselves but hate on the greatness. I don't know why that is, but that's either here or there. We need to understand. You gotta rise above your haters, the people that surround you. You feel me? They always gonna be here. But it's up to you to figure out what you're gonna do with it. You feel me? Is you gonna give in to them? I'm hella ashy and shit. Look at this shit. I'm ashy as shit. <laughs> you feel me? I'm ashy as shit. You feel me? But at the same time, you just gotta just know your greatness and recognize your worth. If you don't recognize your worth or your greatness, then nobody else gonna do it, bro. You feel me? First and foremost, ain't nobody gonna do it. So what you need to do is just recognize yourself greatness within you what you've been called for is bigger hey they say that a prophet ain't gonna be respected not even only place to be respected or he won't be respected i should say is in his hometown wherever he's from he won't be respected for some reason because you know everybody's dirt you feel me it's because you know everybody's you know everybody's everything they don't respect you because you out everybody you feel me Simple fact that you won't be you won't be tamed, you won't be quieted, you won't be pushed down, you won't be none of that. You feel me? And that's me to a T. I won't be quieted, I won't be shook, I won't be nothing. You feel me? I out everybody. Like I told you, I'm 35 years old. Eight break and then three plus five is eight. Eight is what? It's infinity. It's the infinity number. You feel me? It means to keep going and keep going and keep going. You understand what I'm saying? A little bit about numerology. That's what I'm saying. Know your numerology. Know your know a little bit about astro astrology. You feel what I'm saying? But back to what I was saying. Um, for 35, I would say for 30, 30, you say 33 years, 33 or 32, no, 33 or 34, somewhere in there. You feel me? They kept this shit on the wraps. You feel what I'm saying? For some reason, I got up last year. Well, last year, a year and a half ago, I got up. You feel me? And I can recognize everything that's going on. I can see everything that's going on. And I can just, you can't just move around me like you thought. Like, you feel me? Like, like, like everything's okay because I can see you. You understand what I'm saying? I've been gone from this place about 16 days. You understand what I'm saying? It was about like 16 days. Two, three, four when I said that. I just came back because I got to get my money on the first. I should have. I should have waited two more days to check into this place so I could have like I, I could have just rolled it out into my money so I wouldn't have to like come back for these two days. But um I ain't gonna say it was the best 16 days because because anywhere you go, you pretty much got a target on your back. Wherever you go, you pretty much gonna have not not necessarily a target, but you're gonna be known. It could be good or bad. You're know saying it don't have to necessarily be a bad thing. But just know that you're gonna be you're gonna be identified wherever you go. Like I was saying, like once you get up and you see people for what they are and what they bring to the table, it's like you really don't even want to fuck with people no more. Like you really don't even want to. Like you don't want to fuck with me personally. I don't want to fuck with people no more. You feel me? I don't want to use people. So I tell you, hey, like, hey, I, I view you like a, like a, like a, like a, like what can you do for me type of person. Like okay, well this person's a house. This person's money. This person's a. Whatever the case may be, you class, classify people. You understand what I'm saying? And I'll tell you your face. I'm not gonna make you think like, okay, I'm good with you. I'm your son, or I'm your husband, or I'm this or that. Nah, bro. You're a source of money. You're a source of where my kids are at. You're a source of, oh, I can lay my head. You're, you're a source of, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I'm gonna tell you straight up. That's the difference between me and them. They'll have you believing on this whole fantasy about it's this, this, and that, but at the same time, it's really not. So this is for when it's up to you to try to put your big boy pants on to identify people and just keep them exactly where they're at. Right now it's the 31st. This is Halloween weekend. This is the th this is the thinnest, 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 thinnest that the like they said the veil is going to be between the spiritual and the physical. Is this weekend right now? It's the thinnest between the spiritual and the physical. Is this weekend right here? So what you need to do right now is this. Buckle down, my dude. If you don't know anything about the spiritual world, or if you want to get better understanding, because I don't know, I don't know a lot about the spiritual world. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know everything about the spiritual world. I'm just this master and all this shit. That's not that's not it at all. I always say that, like, bro, I'm learning just like you. But at the same time, I want to learn. You understand what I'm saying? I want to be better. I want to learn what the hell going on. So I started watching this um, 
Well, I started watching Exodus, uh, Kings versus Gods. You understand what I'm saying? It came out in 2014. Y'all might want to go ahead and check that shit out. Exodus, Kings versus Gods. You feel me? It's about omens or premonitions and shit like that. You feel what I'm saying? And uh, and uh, I, I said premonition. I meant uh, prophecies. Excuse me. It's about omens or prophecies. In the beginning, she said um, that one person is going to save another person. And the person that saved this important person was going to become the leader of men. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm, I got to the beginning, whatever. It's um, it's with, uh, what's his name? Christian Bale, I think his name is. Christian Bale. Yeah. Christian Bale is, is, um, is supposed to be king. And there's somebody behind him. I think Christian Bell is the. Uh, actually, I'll take that back. Christian Bell is Moses. And there is his son that is supposed to be king. Christian Bell plays Moses. Long story short, so long story short, he saves the king's son in the battle, just like the the um, the um, the uh, what's her name? The um, I can't think of the lady's name. Wow, I can't believe, I can't believe it slipped my mind. But the um, high priestess before there, she slit, she killed a duck or whatever. It looked, it looked like a duck or something like that before. And she got her a little. She gave her she said her omen or whatever, right? And then um, the war came, whatever. They was fighting, or whatever. Boom, 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 boom. And the king got in some trouble. King's son got in some trouble, and he was sitting there looking lost, like he was battle shocked and the whole shit. He was looking around like, oh shit, you know how it slows down in movies, and they be like. You feel me? to looking around. You like, oh shit, this nigga about to die. You feel what I'm saying? Only fact is, here come Christian Bale, out of nowhere, Moses, right? Come saves him. Boom, boom, boom. Gets she clears the way. Tells him, hey, get Ramesses. He plays Ramesses. There we go. He plays Ramesses. Get Ramesses and get him out of here. Boom. So they pick him up, put him on his carriage or whatever. They get him out of there. Boom. They get back to the place. Get back to Egypt or get back to where they're at in Egypt, wherever, right? That he's talking about nobody would say what happened in the battle. Nobody said what happened in the battle. So he calls he calls Moses into his chambers and was like, Hey man, what happened? You feel me? Like sit down. So he he ends up saying, like, oh yeah, um, he ends up saying, like, yeah, something happened. Premonition came true, he's tripping. He's like, So you saved my son? And he's like, well, he didn't want to say that, but he's like, Yeah, I did. So he's like, have a seat. So he sits down, get to talking to the king or whatever. And then um the king is like, I trust you to run my kingdom more than I trust my son. You feel me? He's like, I trust you more than my son to take my name, take take up after. He's like, I can't do that. And he's like, what do you mean you can't do that? He's like, well, in an official, in the official capability of it, no, you can't. You can't. But you can. You understand what I'm saying? All I'm trying to say is, I say that to say that that's about as far as I got. I fell asleep. I was watching it at the place I was at. I fell asleep or whatever. I gotta go back and finish it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna finish that shit today, matter of fact. But, um... Whatever you've been called for in your life, whatever it is, if this basketball player, football player, fucking whatever it is, whatever you've been called for, my nigga, you can't fight your destiny. You can't fight your, you can't fight your calling. You can fight your calling all you want to, but... All it's gonna do is put you in it. It's gonna put you behind a behind a barrel of a gun. You know what I'm saying? So right now, I would say is, if you don't know what you're supposed to be doing, or if you don't know where you're supposed to be, or who you're supposed to be, meditate, meditate, just meditate on that shit, bro. Ask God to reveal to you who you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing. Me personally, I didn't really even know that Exodus was the story of the bondage of Egypt of the. I didn't know that. Like, I'm reading it. Like, Hold on, bro. What the fuck is this shit? You got the reading? Like, oh shit. You got the reading some more. Oh shit. You got the reading this shit. You feel me? And, and the Bible runs coincided. Coincide. It goes side by side with what's going on today. All it is is a loop. 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 It just keeps going on. The time might change. We got cars instead of fucking chariots. We got Kevlar instead of big armor on. We rock with guns instead of swords. You know what I'm saying? So it evolves, but it's the same context and the same story. You understand what I'm saying? Stick with me. Me personally, I'm 
very good at speaking. I'm very, I'm not scared to speak. I love speaking. I just gotta get, a couple things I gotta get in order, obviously. Pronunciation, maybe art, art, articulate myself, be able to stay on track. Because I, like, I have a lot of good ideas, but I gotta keep them like in. You feel me? Gotta keep them, I gotta keep them chronological. You feel me? I gotta, okay, knock this out, or synchronize. Now I gotta knock this one out, you feel me? So I'll be moving all around, but. This is a very important weekend for people in spirituality. This weekend right now. This is where they're gonna be casting their little spells. This is where they're gonna be doing their little they're gonna be doing everything right now. You understand what I'm saying? Why? Because this is like I told you, the thinnest, the 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 margin between the spiritual and the and the and the um and the physical is the thinnest, right? So I'll advise you, like I'm gonna do the same. So I've been just thinking about. It. I took me a little nap earlier, or whatever, right? Like I told you, I'm back over here at 1850 East Way over here in Sacramento, California. You feel what I'm saying? I hate being over here. I'm be honest with you, right now, I hate being over here. It don't feel right. My spirit don't vibe with this place at all. It don't. It just don't. Cause I know, I know niggas is liars, bro. And when I know niggas are liars, I hate. Like, I just, Look at you in your eyes. I can't like. I can't. I can't say everything is okay. You understand what I'm saying? I can't like. Me personally, I have to invest in you. You feel what I'm saying? Like I gotta know you telling the truth, and I'm telling. If you want me to take you serious, anyway, is what I'm saying. I can lie to you and bullshit you, but I don't have time for that shit no more. Personally, you feel what I'm saying? I'll be having time for that shit no more. And plus, my mind be ready to bro. You feel me? I'll be ready to go. I'll be like, bro, I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go to Texas. About to get my ass out of here and go to Texas. I don't know what the fuck is in for Texas for me, but hey, I didn't know that nigga I was gonna wake up and be this person. You feel what I'm saying? I don't know. I had this in me at all. Before you, before I couldn't tell the truth for shit. I couldn't tell the truth for shit. Like, bro, you asked me, did you take that? You can see the bulge in my pocket. You can see the bulge all here. I'm like, bro, I don't got nothing on me, bro. I don't know what you talking about, bro. Oh my mama, I don't got nothing on me. Nigga, no one got damn well. I done took your wallet. Nigga, I done took your video game. Nigga, I done took your kids' coins. Nigga, I done took, I done took anything. Nigga, I swear to God, I didn't touch nothing. You know what I got? That's just how I was. Like a bitch ass nigga. It's a bitch ass shit. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you might not know all the answers too. Another thing too. Let me let me say this too, my nigga. Like, everything gets revealed in the, in divine timing, right? Us. Let's say us or me, me. I be wanting to know all the plays before I move. But, all right, so what's A? All right, that's A. What's B? All right, that's B. All right, what's C? All right, that's C. What's D? What's D? It don't come like that. It shit don't come like that, bro. It don't come like that at all. So necessarily, when you get A, you're going to have to just move off of A. You feel me? But the best thing I say would do... Let me open this shit up. Best thing I would say to do for yourself, nigga, is just meditate, my nigga. Especially right now, because like I said, this is just, this is a very, 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 that they don't talk about. Once again, nigga, how did, did you know, I, I guarantee you didn't know that this is a, this is a weekend where the veil was the thinnest, the thinnest, I repeat, the thinnest, I repeat, the thinnest that it's going to be, is right now. So all their spell work are all... It's all right now is is basically they're all praying for this shit right now. They're all putting it in this weekend, Halloween weekend, bro. Probably tomorrow. I would say tomorrow is the is tomorrow is the thinnest as it's gonna be. Period. It's the thinnest. You feel me? They want you to be quiet. They don't want you to. They don't like when people reveal a lot of different type of information to people that they don't necessarily want out themselves. They do, the higher ups, they do not like that shit. Let me tell you that right now. That's why I try to quiet my ass, bro. I won't be quieted though. I won't be quiet. I won't fall in line. Like I told you, I, didn't, I don't lost my family. I don't lost my wife. I don't lost everything behind this shit. You feel me? And I don't. I can't go back and sit on the couch, bro. I just can't do it, bro. I can't go back and sit on the couch act like everything is okay. You feel me? I can't just go sit down like, okay, everything's cool now. I'm just gonna go sit back and relax. I can't do that, bro. 
feel me? I can't do that. I just can't do it, bro. Like, I just can't, I can't be one of them niggas to know this type of information and be like, oh, it's all right. I'm just gonna go sit down and act like everything's okay. You feel me? Like, it don't work like that with me, bro. Like, I can't do it. So if that probably puts a big ass target on my back, as is. But when you chosen by God to handle his work and take care of his man, carry, basically just kind of carry his mantle, which is your own, carry his, bro, you're gonna get a lot of adversity. You're gonna get a lot of everything, my nigga. So you better stay prayed up. You better stay your foot, one foot in the dirt. You better just stay your ass just moving forward, bro. You feel me? Cause I'd be goddamn, bro, if I let any one of these people trick you out your spot or feel like they they just better than you see look this happens every time look i told you i told you we, get, we got one right here i told you and we got one right here and right here in the car I be that's why i tell him to eat a dick <laughs> that's probably that's probably the best way to go <laughs> I be telling these niggas to eat a whole dick and a half. Is he still yeah. <laughs> because they don't never t see. They don't never like. Oh, I take that back. They do confront you, but they confront you for you to crash yourself. But they don't confront you like they want to fight or no shit like that. They never do that because they know what comes with that. They know what comes with that, and what comes with that is death. For one, you could curse them, or for two, you could ask your other people to curse them. You feel what I'm saying? So it's, it's like, it can go either way. You ain't got to touch candles. You ain't got to touch none of that shit. But you just know. You feel me? And I wouldn't even really, I wouldn't to keep it real with you. I wouldn't even be, I wouldn't even start messing with that type of shit. Let's just be honest. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend going down that road. Now, if you tell your ancestors to do what they do, hey, that's, that's on you. But me personally, I just do me. I just do me. And the best way to do me is just grow spiritually. Find out this information. Don't say everything you know, too. Don't say everything you know until it's time. I mean, there will be a time and a place. Let me see. Hold on. It will be a time and a place to release the type of information. But right now, I think you want to load your gun. You just want to load your gun up. You want to load your pistol. You want to load it. 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 So when time you do start shooting niggas with your words, not with your bullets, nigga. We you start shooting niggas with your words, and it means something. Remember, you gotta go on a, words lose the impact when you run your mouth too much as well. You gotta go on a spiritual fast of your words. Like I haven't made videos in like, well basically since I've been, I made like two or three to be honest with you, but I really didn't, I don't know, I made like, how many videos did I make? Let me see. I probably can't see, on my other phones in the house. Um, Oh, fuck my other phone's in the house. Fuck, let me go grab my other phone real quick. Hold on. Y'all can come with me and grab that bitch, too. I gotta go grab that bitch. My other phone in the house. Damn, bro. I ain't, I ain't gonna leave my other phone in the house. I gotta go grab that bitch right now. Hold on. I gotta grab this bitch. You see all this bullshit? You see all that bullshit? All this bullshit? Oh, look at that cat. That cat look. Which one is you? I don't think I've seen you before. You feel about that bullshit? Hell yeah. I'm about to go grab my other phone. I'll my other phone in here. Hell yeah, yeah, I forgot my shit. My other phone over here. I forgot about that bitch. Hold on. My motherfucking phone. There you go right here. Hold on. My bad, y'all. I had to come all the way back here to grab my damn phone. You feel me? Hold on. My bad. Nah, this ain't even a fucking shit, my bad. I hope I didn't fucking stay my shit up. But anyway, that's a 20 minute video already, goddamn. I made a video earlier today, too. Hold on. Hold on. My bad. I got to look at that motherfucker. My fault. I forgot I was really going live on that bitch. What up, what up, what up, guys? It's your girl, Robert Butterfly. You hear that shit? Your this was. No, I took some notes in this bitch right here. Message. 
I was just gonna read them off. I'm actually I'm gonna put them in another video. I'm about to make another video right now. You feel me? I put notes in this motherfucker right here. Like I told you, I made a video. I can tell you when the last time I made a video was um, was a week ago. And it wasn't even a real video. It was just like a, a I'm back. I've been gone for a while or whatever video. Yeah, it was a I'm gone video. I'm back. But um, this day keep this weekend is very important. Feel what I'm saying? It's very important. If you into spirituality, if you into anything of that sort like that, this is the this is the weekend you really want to prepare, uh, prepare yourself because the karmics and the karmic cycles and everybody else. This is this is the thinnest. This is where they this is where they all work together. This is where this is where they can. that nigga just climbed a fence like he was running for the police. God damn! There was a cat that was over here. This the cat was on the side of the thing like, and you feel me? He was climbing up that G thing. Anyway, this stay safe, protect yourself, guard yourself, burn your incense or not, or do whatever you need to do. But at the same time, me personally, you need to know your you need to know your um your um your birth chart because you need to. Know, I'm not saying that candles and incense and and um, and uh, crystals and all that shit ain't important because nigga they are important. They very they're very much so important. But if you understand where you're from, if you understand like. The protections that you have on you, if you understand the basically your placements or your guys that you're under, you know if you have a lot of protection or not. Me, I have cancer at five placements, four placements, excuse me, four placements. And if you know what what houses and what who is cancer, what god is cancer, what god what god represents uh, represents cancer, then you know you got super protection around you. You feel me? Then you got Gemini. You know what I'm saying? You know he's under Gemini, who that is. And then you got Virgo. You feel me? If you know what's in Virgo. Sagittarius. Scorpio. Libra. You feel what I'm saying? Like, and when you get to now studying these guys and what they bring to the table, the other side's like, bro, you highly protected, my dude. Like, if you just, like, look at your shit, like, bro, you highly, 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 highly protected. You understand what I'm saying? Like, highly protected. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not saying, I it's say you ain't got to burn your candles and do your shit or whatever, but it's it's like a, that's more of a mental thing. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong, nigga. Don't get me wrong. You still want to do what you do. But it's not like, it's not like a, it's not like a, Oh my God, I have to do it right now because I feel like, you feel me? Oh, I feel like I have to do this or I have to do that. You feel me? It's not It's not about that at all. It's not about that at all. It's about keeping yourself grounded. Whatever you need to do to keep yourself grounded, if it's that doing that, or if it's any type of manifest manifest manifesting or if it's just talking. Oh, there goes Pharaoh. Is that Pharaoh ass right there? I don't know if that's Pharaoh. He looks a little dingy to be Pharaoh, but it could be though. I don't know. But anyway. Like I said, go check out that Exodus movie. That uh, Gods vs. Uh, Kings. I'm about to go check that shit out right now, matter of fact. Finish that shit out. It's a good ass movie. I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm about, to, I'm about to go back and uh, look at my notes like I said over here. And come back out with this other video. Bro, be careful when you go out. I'm going out on Halloween too. I ain't gonna sit here and cap to y'all and act like I'm not. I'm gonna go out on Halloween. Just be careful. Make sure you. you uh, Protect yourself. And God, as your spirit guys be with you. Don't do nothing stupid, nigga. Don't be out there drinking on weird shit. Don't be out there just smoking, nigga. If you don't know who the fuck you smoking after, or who you drinking after, nigga, be careful of all that shit too, bro. Don't be just out there doing no reckless ass shit now. It's like you at a party, you just drinking randomly out the bowl and shit, nigga. You don't know what the fuck you goddamn drinking. And don't go around hella people that you don't know who you be around too, bro. Because you be, you be swapping energies with people you don't know. Who the fuck you swatch your energies with? Right? It's like, come on, my nigga. Do you know these people right here? Even if you know them, do you really know them? Because it's not like they're going to tell you, hey, I do black magic. Or I do hoodoo. Or I do voodoo. Or I do any of that. They're not going to tell you that shit. I'm going to tell you that right now. They ain't going to tell you. Go watch Skeleton Key. Go watch Skeleton Key. 
Oh my mama, that's a good ass video. Go watch Skeleton Key, bro. That shit for sure will be it. You feel me? What's up, bro? How you doing? Doing good? Yeah. yeah. What you doing? Going in the video? Wanna say hi? Hi, how are you? All right. Hey, you going? That's a gang stalker right there. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like I told you, they all hired to be in your business. See what's going on. At the same time, go watch Skeleton Key, bro. They'll tell you about the hoodoo and the voodoo. And I didn't even know, to be honest with you, French people, people from France, I didn't, bro. I didn't know that the that voodoo and the, I mean hoodoo and that shit was in. France. I didn't know that. I'm gonna keep it real. I didn't know that. I I didn't know that. I didn't know that at all. But when you start looking into it, it's like, wait, that shit came from French. I mean, France. I said French. That shit came from France, bro. It didn't come from France. It's from the people. Oh yeah, he got he got his gifts. Okay, I see that. He got his kids' gifts. I like that. I respect the fuck out of that. He on a bike with some kids' gifts. Nigga on a B. I can respect the hell out of that. You feel me? But um. Be careful, my nigga, because people are, um, right now they're trying to get people under control. They want people to shut the fuck up. They want people to get back in the box, basically. Get your ass back in the box. So they're going to use MK. They're going to use forms of mind control. They're going to use forms of hoodoo. They're going to use forms of voodoo. They're going to use some forms of, they're going to use everything they can to get your ass back in the box. Everything on them, they're going to use that to get your ass back into the box. You understand what I'm saying? So you gotta be, in, you gotta look under like, well, okay, what is MK Ultra? What is that exactly? You feel what is MK Ultra? Well, what are the signs that they're trying to people are trying to put you under MK Ultra? What are the signs? You feel me? It's not like you gotta you gotta really go dive deep into that shit, bro. You understand what I'm saying? But you gotta be secure in yourself. Don't believe in yourself and believing into your intuition. Don't never challenge your intuition. The moment you challenge your intuition is the moment your ass gonna be, I ain't gonna say dead, I don't like using dead, cause it's gonna be like that. It's the moment you're gonna be in trouble. The moment you don't listen to your intuition, is the moment you're gonna be in trouble. You see what I'm saying? Like if you're sitting somewhere and you're like, bro, something bad finna happen, right? How many times you had that, like, bro, something bad finna happen? And you leave, bam, right? And you dip out and say the motherfucker get shot up, party get shot up. Or a nigga come through and just start start fighting with niggas or something. Or say someone came through and started stealing something. Anything. I was your intuition saved your ass, bro. I my whole life has been like that, bro. My whole life has been like that, bro. I'll repeat. My whole life has been like that, bro. You feel me? My whole life. And I didn't really know what to call it. I didn't know what to like. I'm like, okay, I'm just lucky. No, nigga, you're not just lucky, you blessed for one. You feel me? You blessed for one. You gotta, you gotta admit that. You gotta put that out there first, bro. Are you blessed, or are you just, or are you just moving reckless, my nigga? Are you gonna admit you blessed? Yes, I'm blessed in a bitch. I'm blessed in a bitch. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't gonna take credit for this shit. I can't take credit for it. What do I look like taking credit for something that I was blessed with? You understand what I'm saying? Like, I, you can't take, you can't act like you the man with a gift so you've been given. You feel me? You can't act like the man, bro. That's what you don't do. And they'll act, yeah, that's another thing too. Say you do got a booming ass intuition. Say you, whatever gift that you're given. I have a sight to see, I have, I have vision too. I get vision, I can see shit. I can see shit unfolding, I can see shit. I'm a seer, bro. I got super ass intuition. I'm a seer, I can speak very well. I can, let's just leave. If you know what a seer is, you know, I was gonna get away into detail, but if you know what a seer is, then you know what it is. Future and past. You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, you just, you just gotta be thankful and cultivate your gift, bro. And cultivate it. Like, just don't, don't just let, don't sleep on it, bro. Don't sleep on it, bro. Like, if you know you have these gifts, pray to God, pray to us to see what can I do to, what can I do to bring it out stronger? What can I do? If you're trying to touch with God, if you're trying to uh, connect with, oh, there goes uh, 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 Orca right there. Um, if you're trying to, the fastest way to get in contact with God is empty yourself out so he can fill you up, AKA fast. If you're trying to get in contact with God fastest, you got to empty your vessel out. You have to empty your whole vessel out. And that means just water, water, juice, whatever. I, me personally, I would just say water. Go all water fast, personally. It's gonna hurt like a bitch. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's gonna hurt like a bitch, bro. I went on a water, it's going to hurt like a bitch, bro. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to hurt. <laughs> I'm not even going to sit here and play with you, bro. 
I'm not gonna play with you. It's gonna hurt like hell, bro. But if you stay in meditation and just say, just empty yourself out, stay writing your notes, stay doing your journals every day, stay listening to positive shit, stay watching positive shit, stay watching. Go on a diet, and I don't mean always in your stomach. I mean what you're watching, what you're hearing, what you, and what you're eating. What you're watching, what you're hearing, and what you're eating. Because it's not, when you think of a diet, you're like, I'm just going to eat the right shit. But you listen to the rap music all day. Talking about, I'm going to stab you, I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it. Bro, you listening to all this negative ass shit. Like, bro, you listening to hella negative shit that's in your head all day. You feel me? All day, you just listen about some bad shit. You feel me? That's, it's going into your diet. It's going into your diet. You feel me? I mean, 30 minutes already, bro. That's how I know. I ain't been on here a while. I miss you. I miss y'all, ugly motherfucker. No, I'm just playing. All right, man. I'm going to jump off. I still got to make another video after this. I'm going to go in the house and get my shit together real quick. I got to um, I gotta add some more notes to this shit. You feel what I'm saying? But I love y'all. I understand y'all. And I overstand y'all. We don't understand shit over here, bro. I understand y'all. I overstand y'all. Y'all have a good night. And be careful this weekend, bro. It, it, they include it But watch every day But really be careful This weekend About what you're eating And what you're drinking And who you're hanging out with It's imperative bro I'll say it again It is imperative bro That you watch Who you're around And what you're doing Alright bro Y'all be easy bro